So a couple days ago, I released a jingle tier list after about a three-month hiatus. And to be very honest, the reason I hadn't been updating it as much is because of some rules that were imposed on Reign of Gaming, in which I can't always host uh, things on Reddit. Which is kind of sad, because the only way some YouTubers or certain things like uh, League of Legends articles can get any traffic is through using stuff like Reddit. If I, let's say I make a new article right now, even if I put a lot of effort to it and it's a good subject, at most it'll get 10,000 hits if I don't advertise it on Reddit. If I advertise it on Reddit, it could get over 100,000. And this is actually important and it's uh, it helps keep websites alive and in some cases, some YouTube channels alive. I do well without having to always resort to using Reddit. At most, I make one post every month and more if there's you know a new champion or something huge with the jungle. But anyways, I was hesitant to do a tier list because even without me po posting it up there, other people would post it up there because you know tier lists are very interesting and stuff. But I always hated the amount of traffic it would, uh, the kind of traffic I mean that it would attract. People coming into my channel and you know starting stuff or calling me names or actually attacking me personally. It's like what the hell is this? Discuss the tier list or the worst ones were the ones who didn't read the tier list and then impose their own rules and it's like that's not how the tier list works and then they, they just refuse to understand you know how it's laid out oh stonewall this is stupid jungle gragas is a much better support jungler than uh nasus is it's like what the hell they're not like that's not even you know even if you use the rules of the how the support list works it's not even something that can be argued and shit like that but the worst one and the most painful one that happens a lot is that uh they refuse to accept this tier list because it requires a little bit of effort to uh to use i get a lot of requests from even fans supporters to change my tier list back to what it used to be just having one list you know one list to conquer them all but you already most people would already know that list by watching what's being played you'll see you know right now you'd see Rengar, Kha'Zix, uh, Elise, and Lee Sin, and Jarvan as tier 1, and that's nothing different and doesn't tell you much either. I'd have to get into the explanations that you probably already know as to why a certain champion is strong and how to play. And the sad thing is, this season, that shit didn't even change that much. So, I would have had one tier list and then it would have stayed the same way. However, with the tier list I have, the, the big uh, complicated one with many little brackets, that one allows me to actually, you know, uh, tell you the strengths of each champion and sort of tell you what kind of role they excel best at like jungle nunu was always number two in the support tier list since its inception that and he's never changed i mean he's always had someone above him but he's never not been number two on it and like let's say the meta changes to having support junglers in the jungle like it sort of is right now where nunu's a hot pick because hyper carries are in nunu didn't need any changes because that's what he's always been good at and it showed it reflected that and it adapted to the meta shifts and in fact my tier list had doesn't really change at all when Whenever a, a huge meta shift occurs, uh, because the champions are all the strengths have already been detailed, and you know there's nothing you know to change amongst them. It's like oh, tanks are being favored now, so these are the best tanks, and there's likelihood that these guys will be picked. Oh, some you know bruisers who can go very tanky are being favored, and here they are in this portion of the list, so these are the ones you might want to pick. AP junglers are being favored, so these are the ones you'll probably see. Uh, assassins are being favored, so on and so forth. My tier list has rarely changed. The one that the bracket that changed the most is the fighters because Riot decides to, you know, nerf assassins or nerf whatever. So they're the ones who get, most get shafted by, what, by everything else. But it still was really painful and really sad to have, you know, to have people say shit like, Jungle Nass is a terrible jungler, Stonewall's an idiot. It's like, what the hell? Like, not too long ago, even after he was nerfed, people were still using him and he was still considered broken as shit. Just a huge meta shift happened and where assassins became very popular in mid lane. And Nass is pretty bad at ganking though or doing anything because you know Fizz was just a void of shit or Kha'Zix would just you know ignore everything he does so it became all about the bursty assassin kind of thing and not that whole sustained power that Nasus would have so Nasus fell off and in came Kha'Zix and all that bullshit 
So it's not that Nasus became any worse, it's just the meta shifted, and so he's no longer favored. But because that happened, because Nasus isn't picked, suddenly all the good traits that Nasus used to have aren't there. People either forgot them, refused to acknowledge them, or it's just complete assholes. It's kind of funny, it's like, right now, let's just say Sivir isn't being played, who goes, why is Sivir bad? They'll give you this list of five reasons, because she, you know, doesn't have as much damage, She's you know, all she does is push and whatever. Then let's say the meta suddenly shifts shifts and it's super super into pushing and Sivir becomes really good at that I mean she's really good at that and then she becomes really favorite at that suddenly Sivir goes up to the top thing and all the either the negative things they said to about her disappear or all the good the bad things they said about her all I mean you know, the quote-unquote only thing she has become really powerful things oh she's so good because she's got this and this and this it's just it always happens the meta shifts certain champions fall off you know the radar and the uh, and they then they lose all good qualities they were ever given. It's sad. Uh, think about it. Uh, nobody praises Nasus even though he's obviously still strong. Nobody praises LeBlanc anymore, even though she could still be an annoying bitch. It's it's really sad. Like I've had people curse at me for picking Zach, and then I still you know do stuff with Zach. It's like he was still being used even after he was nerfed because he's got that CC disruption. Cho'Gath is one of the biggest examples of this. When Ch Cho'Gath was very good, it was when there was nothing but combo casters, and Cho'Gath fucking destroys combo casters. Once those combo casters fell out of the popularity, so the Cho'Gath's used because there was no reason to pick him at all. And suddenly people were saying, you know, he's he's crap and everything. But prior to that, people were yelling at me for not picking. Cho'Gath. He's like, he's so good. He's got this and this and this. And it didn't change. He saw no changes at all. And then suddenly he's bad. It happens all the time. It happened to Malphite. It happened... It even fucking happened to Lee Sin somewhere around Season 2. It's happening to Trundle right now. Remember, Trundle was being picked because everybody loved him and now people you get yelled at for trying to pick him. And it's sad. And for this reason, as much as some of you may hate it, I may just stop, you know, doing the tier list altogether. Though, annoyance is not worth it and nobody seems to really, you know, want to learn how to use it and it doesn't really even change that much pre uh, with every iteration so i'm not the only one fi and foxtrap don't really want to do theirs either now so it's kind of sad and reddit kind of killed it instead i'll be doing something similar to foxtrap a top five of this patch or whatever though i'll probably do top two of the patch and one you know rising star who's making splashes either an underrated champion as another one and one of my personal top picks of that patch